this year more than ever, the base iPhones are gonna be the better option for most consumers over the Pro models. I'm gonna give you four reasons why I believe the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus is worth your money compared to the iPhone 16 Pros. Let's talk about it. See, this year, the base iPhone 16 and 16 Plus have the action button, which was introduced on last year's iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. It was a standout feature for the Pros that differentiated it between the base and the Pro models. But this year, as I just said, you get the action button starting at $799, which is cheaper than you would pay for the Pro models. What the action button allows you to do is pick from a list of predetermined shortcuts that Apple has built into the iPhone so you can launch those quickly. Now that could be from opening your camera, your flashlight, setting your phone to silent, and more. You can even launch a shortcut that you create within the Shortcuts app to add some more customization to it. For example, if I go ahead and click my action button, I have a menu pop up that has three different items to choose from. That way, instead of just having one shortcut I can launch, I can now pick from three different ones. And the action button isn't the only new button that the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus will get this year. Just like with the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max, both the 16 and 16 Plus will come with the camera control button. This button will allow you to launch the camera quickly that we can get your favorite photo or video fired off as quick as possible without having to fiddle with the touch screen. Now, that camera control button also doubles as a touch sensitive zone. So you can actually zoom in and out of your photo by sliding left or right. It also lets you launch a menu that lets you tune some extra settings in your camera so you can get the perfect shot. And if you made it this far and you found those first two reasons to be pretty good reasons, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons for me. Now let's keep it moving. Now, this year, at the iPhone 16 launch event, Tim Cook said that the iPhone 16 line is the first line of iPhones to be built from the ground up for AI. The next generation of iPhone has been designed for Apple intelligence from the ground up. He means all of the iPhone 16s, including the 16 and the 16 Plus. And a major reason for that is that all four 16 models actually have eight gigabytes of RAM in them. And as the features continue to roll out, you'll see that the iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max will all be able to take advantage of these same Apple intelligence features. Last up, the iPhone 16 starts at $799, whereas the iPhone 16 Pro starts at $999. That's a $200 difference right there. And for those $200, you're getting about the same, I'd say about 90%, the same user experience between the Pro and the base models. Think about it. You have Apple intelligence, eight gigabytes of RAM, action button and the camera control buttons. Those are all kind of the big landmarks this year that the iPhone 16 will be bringing. So the base model has just about everything that the Pro model has. Now, I will say this, the extra $200 will get you a 120 hertz refresh rate screen and some Pro level camera improvements. However, again, this video is for majority of the buyers. And for majority of buyers out there, they will not care about a 60 hertz refresh rate screen, nor will they really miss anything between the cameras. The iPhone cameras are already good as hell. So let's recap. For $799, you're getting the action button, just like on the Pro models. You're gonna get the camera control button, just like on the Pro models. You're gonna get Apple intelligence features as they continue to roll out, just like with the Pro models. You also even have eight gigabytes of RAM, just like with the Pro models. So you get all of that, which is, as I said, about 90% of the user experience for a savings of $200. This year, the base models get all the fun goodies minus the 120 hertz refresh rate screen that the pros have. And for many users out there who are upgrading, they're probably on an iPhone that already has a 60 hertz refresh rate screen. So they won't even notice the difference if they just go with the base models once again. So do yourself a favor, save 200 bucks and be happy. Now, before you go and buy your new iPhone, do me a favor, check out this video right here. This has been Normal Consumer, and I'll catch you in the next one.